Every season on Backyard Farmer, we'll get several questions about why is my tree not the right color? Uh, and this particular magnolia here, we see this lighter green, yellow uh, coloration with these newer leaves in particular, and that's an indication of chlorosis. Chlorosis is a symptom of a variety of things. It's kind of a big term, a lot of things can go into it. Uh, there can be a lot of different causes. It could be too high a pH in the soil. Um, it can be too much moisture, too dry, uh, soil compaction. Um, so there's just a lot of things that can happen. Maybe there's been some root damage at some point here. So there's a lot of things that may cause chlorosis in plants. Uh, what we're gonna try to do is figure out what we can do to try to help this plant get through this and improve its condition. Because long-term chlorosis will weaken the plant um, and at some point it'll eventually fail and you'll have to replace this tree. So a couple of things that we're gonna wanna think about here, um, some easy solutions to see if, that, if it will help, is to come in, expand our uh, mulch area around this plant, remove any other turf near the plant, uh, so we maybe out to the edge of the drip line here, and that will help reduce some of that compaction on the root zone. We may even come in with a couple inches of some good compost, so integrate the compost into the soil around the base of the plant, add a couple inches of mulch, make sure that we water it appropriately. We don't want this plant to dry out. At the same time, we don't want to oversaturate the soil. So there's, there's kind of that fine line there. So we'll try some of those things to see if that will help. You can look at, you know, a, a quick fix is a uh, iron-based mineral foliar spray. Many times that will help. Um, and then if you have a larger tree, so if this was a larger shade tree, pin oaks in particular um, respond well to the many different injections that you can use on pin oaks. Uh, that species in particular responds very well to that sort of thing. And again, it's not a long-term uh, cure. It's something that has to be done every few years depending on the process that you use. So you'll have to know that once you've started that, if you want that tree to continue to do well, you're going to have to continue that process. But chlorosis affects a lot of things. It'll affect you know, perennials, uh, it'll affect your turf. Those are more easily uh, amended with some sort of iron-based mineral that you can put down, and that'll help those uh, plants get through that more quickly. But for our woody plants, um, you're gonna look at something a little bit longer lasting, again, trying to amend the soils, mulching, thinking about how we're watering the plant to see if we can bring this out of that, out of the chlorosis kind of spiral that it's going through.